I am Dr. Miku Eyobe Tobelo. Talking about underrepresented groups in the practice of chemistry, we took note of uh, not formally educated chemists. Those that uh, prepare these insecticide, so and uh, other things will stay by. And our resource person gave a story of how she needed to clean her tile. And uh, because school was not in session, she knew what she would have gone to the lab to prepare and do the cleaning. So the uh, people that were in the house now said, go and buy tile cleaner, go and buy tile cleaner. And she got to the person and asked, this is this, what's the concentration? And she said, I don't know. So when she bought it from the person, they took it to the house and decided to dilute it. The neighbor in the uh, call center was with her in the house. Now I started complaining. They said, why would you dilute it? No, it will not work. And she now said to her, don't worry, I am a chemist and I know what I'm doing. Now, if these persons are left outside the cycle of practicing chemistry and they are not brought in, they affect chemistry in either positive or negative ways. We noted that. Now, this also noted that uh, the still under that unrepresented people that we call not formally educated we also realize that the group we have around us today, most of the petrol we're using, come from uh, those uh, unrecognized refineries. And uh, it has gone a long way in damaging a lot of our uh, 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 machine. So we need to see how to integrate this group of persons into the practice of chemistry so that they could also be regulated and will not impact negatively into our society. Now, the issue of uh, racism, we observe that down the Niger Delta here, we do not have it, that's what we think. However, we consider that uh, ethnicity Ethnicity is very obvious. Ethnicity is very obvious to the point that if you have somebody that is not from the ethnic group within the area of consideration and uh, they have a less qualified person, they won't mind taking that person for somebody that is outside the, the area of uh, interest. Now, gender, we said that could be a minor discrimination. There could be a minor discrimination as per gender. Uh, somebody, like uh, the last speaker said, in chemistry, that chemistry is like as a uh, job for the men. We also look at chemical engineering. And in chemical engineering, they could also say that some of these areas that the, man, the woman cannot practice effectively. However, as a chemist, we should be able to lower such barriers. Um, Color, we said there was no discrimination as for color, except a little that could be noticeable with uh, albinos, just because of societal uh, acceptance. We we'll generally look at them that uh, maybe some people will give them some very wonderful, strange names. Now, coming to the area of mentorship, we agreed that that is in our group that the issue of mentorship should be seen as a chain reaction where the mentor is also a mentee to somebody and that will help impact the chemical society for effective productivity. Um, the area of networking and cooperation, collaboration rather, we said that through our students and fellow lecturers, in other words, we will share our topics with our lecturers across institution and then uh, ourselves as lecturers in various institutions can also reach out to one another just like the last speaker said. Now another thing that can encourage networking and collaboration we notice is facility. What we have in our school may not be enough to carry a certain research and so we need to look across to the other school to find if what they have we meet up to what we want to do. Now, skills necessary for the practice of uh, chemistry, we looked at effective and regular training. And we need to 
be updated in our practice. Then analytical skill, we said we don't need to downplay on analytical skill. Also the imaginative skill. Uh, uh, our sister, Dr. Eukaria, in fact, she's showing us imaginative skills. We can see how she's discussing from the chemistry, the issue of the laboratory to um, the seminars where technical session we are holding here. So we said that imaginative skill is necessary for us to be able to achieve goals in chemistry practice. Then we also need the skill to translate what our practical is theoretical aspect we teach into practical uh, products that can be used. Thank you.